Okay, I'd like to go over what I'm going to do here. I've got both acts in the uh, propane forge right here. I'm fixing to light that up. I've got a magnet right here, and as soon as those get cherry red, I can check that. No magnetism. It's a good time to quench it. I've got a container here with olive oil in it. It comes up close to the top here, and once I get this cherry red like I want it, I'm going to just drop that straight down in there and not work it this way at all. If I wanted to, I could go this way, but not sideways. That would tend to warp the axe. So I will quench that in that olive oil. And then after that, I will um, clean the axe off with the sanding belt and stick the axe in the uh, kitchen oven for an hour at 450 degrees and then I'll come back with a uh, acetylene torch and um, put the axe down in water and turn this area blue like a, and that'll be close to like a spring steel that'll kind of soften the the, uh, the the handle area here and uh, I want this uh, the chopping part of the axe to be a dark straw or medium to dark. My goal is to have a medium um, medium straw color. Now if you would like you can give this the uh, file test. If a flat file just glides over it and doesn't grab in it at all, it means you have a super hard metal now. It needs to be uh, tempered in the oven. Okay, here's the color I'm going for on with the axe. Um, um, this axe has been in the oven for a uh, um, little over an hour and uh, I put it in there at 450 degrees and once it started turning to the dark straw color like I wanted um, I turned the stove off and just let the uh, axes and my knife blades cool off and then um, um, this is the color I've got. What I want to do now is uh, temper this blade to a dark blue color which would be like a spring steel and then manipulate the heat on around to this area right here so this uh, blade won't snap it'll be like a, a much like a leaf spring on a car it a spring but it will not bend and uh, of course I want the uh, this edge right the cutting edge here to be just like nice steel this is a plow disc and uh, the metal in this is uh, really tough and it'll take a lot of, lot of abuse. Okay, I've got a pair of uh, vice grips on the tang of my axe here, bushcraft axe. And what I'm going to do is turn this to a dark blue, like a spring steel color and I'll work it from the back up to this area right here and if I see it's uh, traveling down too fast on my dark straw color there I can uh, dip it in this water here and control control the heat that way. I've got an alt size tip on this Victor torch right here and what I'll do is just kind of lightly feather over this and kind of get the the blue uh, steel color that I want working out toward the uh, the head of the um, 
axe there. It, it'll take a few minutes to get this going, get some heat built up in it. But that'll give you an idea of how to uh, temper your handle so it'll be a, a flexible steel. As you can see, I'm working the heat out towards the cutting edge there, the head of the axe itself. I think you get the idea now, so I'm just about done here. My next step will be to go through my sanding belts. Um, I won't need an 80 grit, I'll, uh, 120, 320 to kind of polish this get it cleaned up and then it'll be time for the handles to be epoxied on. Okay, there is the, uh, the pretty dark blue uh, tang of this knife and then right here is the straw color. That's the way I want that axe head to look right there. And I've got my handles bolted back on there and then I'm uh, fitting a brass uh, um, rod there um, for the lanyard oh, hole. That. That's about all the rounding I really want to do at this time. And on the front area of the uh, handle there, before I epoxy those on there, I, I need to polish that area. It'd be a little easier before the handles are glued on to kind of slick that front area up there. So that's what I plan on doing. And uh, uh, right now I'm going to unbolt the uh, uh, Corby rivets and uh, uh, hit the entire axe with the 320 grit uh, J-Flex belt on my contact wheel and then possibly do some loose belt sanding. And uh, after I do that I'm going through the steps with uh, some uh, 3M belts. They're called Trizac and I'll be using an A45 to start with, an A30. Um, a16 and then A6 and the, the uh, finish will be real unique and uh, won't even have to touch a, a buffing wheel. So that's the status so far with these and getting close to completion here and just wanted to give you a little update on, on the process. Okay, now I'm going to epoxy the uh, handles on. I've got everything prepped here and I've sanded this area with 80 grit uh, sandpaper and then the back of my micarta uh, slab there. So I'm going to use the five minute epoxy. I've got a piece of cardboard here and then I've got my stirring stick. I'm going to mix this five minute epoxy up and that should be ample time to uh, fasten the Corby style rivets onto this micarta handle. Once the epoxy cures, I'll come back and clean up on my belt sander and this project will be done. And I would like to thank you for taking your time to watch me make a bushcraft axe. Thank you very much.